Y'all know this year is the year of the play shot, so what if I told you this build can end up switching up the whole dynamic? The two-way score machine, aka two-way mid-range shooter, gets Hall of Fame shooting, Hall of Fame defense, and pro dribble moves, but what if I told you this build gets contact dunks? I'm not talking about no basic, you know, jump over people contact dunks. I'm talking real contact dunks. Let's try to get two likes on this video for more heat coming on the way. Let's get straight to the video. I'm done talking. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy CJ, aka No Limit CJ, bro. Today, we're about to go into the best two way scoring machine build in NBA 2K21 current gen. Before we start this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, and you see what my name says. Bro, not that name, bro. You know, you see what my name says, alright? Hit the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? We're so close to 5,000 subs, bro. 5,000, we're about to do a crazy giveaway. Y'all not even ready, bro. Y'all are not ready for that giveaway, bro. But hit the subscribe button. You guys will be informed when my giveaway happens with notifications. With all notifications, so you guys know what's up. But this build, bro, I'm not gonna lie, is a top three point guard build in the game. If you look at everything I can do, it's easily a top three build in the game. So you guys wanna make whatever position you want, point guard or shooting guard. Only those two, only guard, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going with point guard because my friend has a shooting guard play shot. I'm gonna go with my left handed. And I'm gonna go with the jersey number seven, bro. Just, just lucky seven, you know what I'm saying? But this build is a Hall of Fame defensive and shooting build. So you guys are probably wondering, what? You know what I'm saying? But yo, yo just watch. Just watch what I'm about to show y'all, bro. Just watch. So basically, um, you guys wanna go with um, the speed pie chart. You guys wanna go with the speed pie chart. And I'm gonna show you guys everything that you need to know. So first of all, you wanna upgrade your close shot to a certain, um, max out your close shot. Max out your driving layup and driving dunk. So you guys are you guys are basically going for th four finishing. You guys want bare minimum of four, and that's really all you need. You're gonna be able to get contact dunks just like that, bro. Watch, you guys are gonna see. Um, shooting. Okay, so what I like to do, I like to go with. I would go with 18 shooting badges. So people, um, you can go with 16 if you really feel like you shoot good enough. But I'm just going with 18 just to make sure I'm not 50 out there. You know what I'm saying? Just get, this is extra insurance. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going with 18 shooting. And basically, I'm gonna show you guys the playmaking. Playmaking, um, you guys um, can go with a 77 pass accuracy, and you're gonna max out your ball handle. So this build um, can speed boost. I'm gonna show you guys. You guys will be able to speed boost off rip if you want to. But I'm sure you guys two different ways to make this build. So, um, what's I really need? Oh, and then you're gonna need um, my fault. You guys are gonna upgrade that so you can get 10 playmaking. 10 playmaking is you know it just looks clean. Nine playmaking just looks mad weird, bro. I don't know if it's just me. You guys can go nine if you really feel like you need to. Or if you want to, it's really up to you. But I'm going with 10. I don't know. That nine looks kind of ugly. You know what I'm saying? And last but not least, we're gonna go with defense. So defense, um, it's really, it's really, um, make sure you just go with your perimeter defense, max that out. I say your perimeter defense, lateral, and steal. Those are the three most important things about guarding, like you know, the on ball. You guys are gonna upgrade your defense and rebound, max it out, so you guys can get more badges. I'm, I'm more f sole in, like purpose of getting more badges because if you guys. If you upgrade your block, right, max it out, um, you might not have enough for Hall of Fame chase down, let's say, for instance. And basically, this build can get Hall of Fame chase down if you really wanted it to. I'm going to show you guys the best defensive side of things that I would go with. Because my play shot be getting blocked, bro, real cap. So, you guys, this is the exact um, upgraded system you guys probably want to go with. This is my recommendation. You can go with, like, 16 shooting and more defense if you really want to. But that's everything. Um, you guys want to go with the bur bro. Burly is the wave, bro. You're going to be able to cut off guards. You're just going to look mad strong, bro. I don't know why. I feel like my play style, bro, is just making me, like, bump guards um, with Burly body style. My Pain Beast, I'm um, 21, actually gets mad, like, bumps, bro, with Burly. And 20, I was not because I made him slight by accident. But um, you guys, basically, you want to go with the 6'2". I would go 6'2", me personally, you know what I'm saying? I think you can, you just get, I feel like you don't lose much. You only, you gain ball control, you gain steal, you only lose a block and everything else by one. It's really, you really don't lose anything, and you gain speed, bro. You get way faster than you were before if you were like 6'3", 6'4". For the weight, I would go with one, I'd say like 168, 168. I'm pretty sure, what's the highest you can go without losing speed? Oh, it's a 170 is the highest you can go without losing speed. So 170, and you gain like two strength. It's not really gonna do much, you know what I'm saying? But you got, you're gonna be stronger than the person that made it lowest weight, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Now here's the thing about wingspan, y'all. Wingspan is really your preference. So you guys can go minimum wingspan if you really wanted to, you know, be able to, you know, speed boost off rip, get shooting off rip. But I'm pretty sure you lose the ability to get the contact dunks that I'm able to get. I'm gonna show you guys some proof that I get contact dunks too in a little second. But I want to go minimal wingspan unless you guys don't feel like grinding this build at all. Just want to be like be able to be nice off rip and like not caring about 95. But if you guys are like really willing to spend time on this build and grind it, because you know 2K is a grind, bro. Believe it or not, it's like whether we wanted to be or not, it's a grind. Life is a grind too. 
but um i would go here's my opinion so if you go with 81 wingspan you get the build title a whole different name if you go anything higher it's a perimeter lockdown and you go anything lower it's like a two-way shot creator but this one is like two-way mid-range something i forgot but i would go with this one i just bro i like the diversity of names I, I i hate seeing the same names over and over again so i'm gonna go with 81 and I'm pretty, your defensive stats are not much different than the max that wingspan it's like a plus one difference so, I would go with the 81, and you get a higher shooting anyway. So, I'll go with the 81 we spent for this build. I will go with Slashing Take. Hear me out. The reason why Slashing Take, like, why would you choose that? Because I didn't know this, but you don't, you do not need Conte Dunks to actually get them. You'll get them with Slashing Take. I found this out when I was just trying this build in the Builder, bro, and this build was getting Conte Dunks with Slashing Take. In my opinion, I'm going with Slashing Take for this build, bro. I will go Slashing Take for this build. You can go with any takeover you want. Lock Take. Um... But I'm going slashing take because of the contact dunks. It's just going to make your build so much better than it actually is. In this build, as you guys can see by the title, it's a two-way mid-range shooter. Okay, two-way mid-range shooter. It's different than, you know, a perimeter lockdown. It's different from, a, like, a two-way shot cutter. I just want a different name. That's me, though. That's my opinion um, on the build. You guys can make it however you want, though, like I said. So I'm going to go with test build. We're about to make this build a 99. You know, like, why would you go any lower? You're a bot if you go any lower, yo. But so... Um, this build basically only gets like four or five. Fin you can go with five finishing. Matter of fact, you can take off your block and go with five finishing. I would recommend that honestly. But um, I'm just gonna go with four finishing. I want to see like if the block does anything. I don't want to be too like sa I want to be safe and sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'll sacrifice finishing badge. So I would either go with um slithery, slithery or relentless. I would go with I would actually go slithery. Go slithery finisher. Um, I think it helps you get contact dunks anyway. So does relentless, but. Yeah, it's only when you're tired. So I'll go with Slithery Bronze. For your shooting, um, here's my opinion. I'll go with Hall of Fame Range, Hall of Fame Hot Zone, uh, maybe Silver, or maybe Gold Green Machine. I'm, Hall of Fame is really not much different than any other. So I'll go Silver Green Machine, Bronze Dead Eye, Bronze Volume, Silver Catch and Shoot. And either Difficult Shots or, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Gold Catch and Shoot. And if you're, it depends how you're playing, bro. If you're, if you're playing as the main, I would either go, I would go hot start or difficult shots. I'll, you know, you guys know how, love, how much I love my hot start. So I'm gonna go with hot start if I'm playing the one, but if I'm playing the two, like as a teammate, I'm going on gold corner specialist, bro. I want to be able to be a, be consistent shooter. You know what I'm saying? Like a spot up. If you're playing the one, which you actually can, you can speed boost and everything. I would go with hot start. Um, you don't catch and shoot, maybe silver. I'll go Hustle Hall of Fame, you know, go go all in, you know what I'm saying, so Hustle Start, I really just love this badge, you know what I'm saying, I, you can either go, you can even go like this, matter of fact, you can go like this to keep it safe, um, I don't really know, it really depends on your play style, I would actually go something like this, in my opinion, you want to be able to shoot consistent and be a green light, so I feel like this lineup works with, this badge setup works with anything, if you're a corner sitter or, you know, the main option. Playmaking, you only get gold, so, I mean, that's why I went with 10 playmaking, you don't really need that much, so gold handles, gold quick first, maybe silver unpluckable, bronze bailout and i'd say dimer maybe dimer or lob city if you're playing with the big you probably are going to be playing with the big so i'll go bronze lob city bronze bail and silver unpluckable because you don't want to be getting ripped like that it's low-key annoying to have gold play making this here it makes you move like a slug when you get ripped like the first time. and last but not least defensive badges so um it's really your preference. I feel like Intimidator is not much better from Gold to Hall of Fame. I feel like when I put in my Paint Beast, like I had, I have clips where I people made 100% smothers on me, bro. This game is just trash. Like I'm sorry, this game is just trash. But I'll go Hall of Fame Clamps, um, Gold Intimidator, maybe Silver Pickpocket, Silver Worm Protector, Interceptor Silver, Chase Down Bronze, Rebound Chaser Bronze, um. And if you're, you know, if you're playing the one low key, if you put on Heart Crusher, bro, and contest like a guard on the stage, bro, I don't, I don't see what's wrong with this bat right here. You know what I'm saying? You can either go that or Pick Dodger. I don't know if Pick Dodger is really that effective, but I would go Pick Dodger to keep it safe and maybe, maybe Hall of Fame Intimidator, bro. If you, this, I feel like this bat setup looks a little better. So I would go something like this along the lines of this. You can either, you can take off one for a rebound chaser if you want, but I mean, you're going to have a paint beast anyway. So that, yes, he he's got to do his job. Tell bro to do his job. But I feel like this is all you really need for a guard. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy this build as much as I am. I'm probably going to grind this build out. This is one of the, one of my favorite builds so far because I just like the diversity of it, like what it can do. And it's a whole different build name. You guys are not going to see much two-way mid-range shooters, bro, at the guard. You're just not. The fact of the matter is you're not. So I will go like that. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. We're on the road to 4K subs, bro. I mean, oh, whoa. I'm gonna roll the 5k subs. Hold on. It's just, bro, that's, that's still so crazy to me. Honestly, like, I just, I feel like we just hit 4k. But hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video, y'all. Peace.